Hello and welcome to my channel. So you might have seen some of my software related things but I'm also a maker and um, I'm kind of working on uh, creating some shields for this little guy. This is a Wemos D1 uh, Mini. So it's uh, based on the ESP8266 chip and um, it supports for as one of the things it does support is actually uh, uh, controlling I2C devices and uh, so I've grabbed one of these nice little uh, screens and uh, I want to build a shield. I have actually built one of these shields already and then you can just put it on here and then you can use the shield and can put another shield on top to uh, do some other stuff. So just a screen shield I want to build and I want to do another one now and I'll share the process with you guys. So for this we need another she uh, another screen, so I have some here, so that's how they come. You can actually see, so they actually have four inputs, so um, uh, two of them are just power, it's VCC and ground, and one is SDA and the other is SCL. Okay, so we have the camera down now, and uh, I hope you can see this, so this is basically um, one protoboard and I put into the protoboard um, these connectors and uh, now I sorted these connectors on now I have an old connector which I kind of messed up a little bit so I will use that basically as a stand You are probably anyway not interested in seeing me doing each single connector here. One. Probably anyway embarrassing. So I try always to let it run a little bit into the holes of the protoboard. So I have done the connectors. The next thing I need to do is um, putting the display on top. Take the display and set it in the top center. No one further. So you see it kind of uh, the distance is not so great, so it kind of has can move a little bit. So this is why I take another kind of temporary connector and put it in between to have a fixed spacer for the distance. Like this. Let's try this again. Even more. Okay, there we go. And just flip it around and we'll solder these pens over there. Oh, it's kind of still bending a little bit, so I'll take another here to get it a bit more even. It's kind of hard if you don't have any real workshop for doing that. I'm currently staying in a transition phase in an Airbnb, so I'm doing that there. But it works. 
So now we just need some cables to connect it, basically four cables. You can take out this guy and the screen is fixed over there. So I have some cables. I can actually do two of these. I think if we cut them each around in half, it should actually work. Let's see. Um, so up there to the right, we have SDA and to the left ground. So ground to the right. Let's start with ground. And ground is actually the second pin over there. So let's have this. Put some tin on the top. So and then we attach it down there to the pin. is and attach it to the other pin over there. Solder. to put connections and doesn't break. Well that was number one. Now we need plus connection. Find some cheap, more colorful cable. Let me know. That was the only hundred cables under one dollars I found. So that's why we only have red and black. speed up the whole video here. There's the red cable and the other side of the red cable goes there but I think I might need to hold this better in place. So now we have the power and now we need the two data connectors.
This is the third from beneath. Need to do some desoldering. Nice and soft. Take it away. There we go. Okay, we ended this cable, and next to it, need another one, and also there I will take a new cable. Let's connect this guy. And not disconnect the others. And now we can see if that worked. <laughs> 